where the love at? I'm looking around like, where the love at, man? Y'all telling me we don't love no more? Y'all telling me we don't have love for our peoples no more? We don't have love for the elderly? We don't have love for our kids? We don't have love for our sisters and brothers no more? Like, the love is just gone. I mean, when you look around, especially when you look on the net, when you look on the net, all you see is hate, 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 hate. All you see in those comment sections is hate, hate, hate. Everybody hating. Since when did hating become cool? When did we start accepting hate? Especially publicly. I remember when you when people used to hate, it used to be behind closed doors. It used to be, you know, people used to hate on the low. Now people hating in public. And then you got a bunch of other haters chiming in, hating with them. Man, listen, we need to start spreading more love. We need more people talking about the love. And it ain't no square shit. It ain't no sucker shit. I'm telling y'all, especially, I'm really kicking it to the youngin. I'm telling y'all. Y'all want to have ops. Y'all want to be hated. Y'all want to be disliked. It's nothing good can come from that. I don't know. Maybe y'all want to have a sad, depressed life. Maybe. I don't know. But if you want to have a good life, having ops and having hate and being disliked, that's not what you want. I've been there. I've been that person that wanted, you know, that wanted to have ops that was always mad, always looking for a fight, always looking for a shootout. Man, come on, man. All you're doing is, is shortening your lifespan when you're on that type of time. That's all you're doing. Now I'm on the other side of the spectrum and I'm and I'm operating in love and operating out of love and I'm showing love. All I, It's all about love. And when I started showing love and operating in my love, that's when my life started getting better. That's when my life started getting good. That's when more opportunities came my way. That's when God started shining on me. I'm like, oh, man, I've been playing the game wrong the whole, the whole time. I've been playing the game backwards the whole time. They had me in the trick bag the whole time. Y'all don't even know y'all in the trick bag until y'all out of that trick bag. See, right now, y'all operating in that trick bag. Y'all don't y'all don't know no other life outside of that. Y'all don't see no other world outside of that. But when you come on this side and you start being positive and you start showing love and you start receiving love, and opportunities start coming your way, your life start getting better, and you just start glowing, then you're gonna see, like, oh, okay. But operating in that negativity realm, come on, man. We need more people to be on the net talking about love, showing love. You know, and there's nothing square about it. See, in our community, they got us believing that when you're showing love to somebody and you're operating in your love, operating in love, that you're a sucker or that that's lame, that's square. It ain't nothing square about that. That's called being real. That's called being smart. That's called being a human being. And that's called being righteous and doing what God wants you to do. That's what that is. It's not about nothing else. Operating in love, showing love, being happy. That's what we that's what we're here for, to be happy. In order to be happy, we have to give and receive love. The internet and and and, and life for some reason got it got hate being accepted. There's no reason why. All these haters in these comic sessions are not getting blasted every day. Every day, every time you see a, a hate comment, you should jump on it. Every day, it should be somebody, thousands of people on, on that hate comment. Like, man, why are you hating? You a hater. Hate. Just let them know they hating. Once, once enough people let the haters know that they hating, they'll shut up. They'll shut up. If a hater walk in the room with 50 people and hate, and all 50 people jump on his head and tell him, man, you a hater. Stop hating. You a hating, man. Woo -woo. He going to shut up. He ain't going to keep hating. He going to be quiet. He's outnumbered. Too much positivity on him. So when y'all see them hate comments, don't be laughing and joining in with them. Let them know you a hater. We got to get rid of the haters. We got to get rid of the negative people. They got to go. They done ran the show for too long. It's time for us to switch it back.
it's time for the real ones to switch it back. We we didn't let the hate be too loud. We didn't let it take over the, our community. We let it take over our kids. It's time for us to take it back. We need all the positive people, all the loving, caring people to take it back. That's all I'm on here for. I'm telling y'all. The hate is time for the hate to stop. I, I grew up in that shit my whole life. Since when do it stops? It seems like it's getting bigger. And if you hate me because your life is bad, if you hate me because you got trauma, if you hate me because you didn't have, you know, a good childhood growing up, all right, go see a therapist. Go read some books. Go meditate. Sit down and work on yourself and fix yourself. You don't um go out and, and trans and you don't go out and start um being angry at the world and hating on the world because of what you've been through. You need to fix yourself. You don't get no pass because you got trauma. We need to start giving people passes because they got trauma or because they've been through things growing up. Okay, we all been through something. You grown now, it's time for you to fix it. You don't go out there and start hating on other people because you mad about what you've been through 10, 20 years ago. That shit whack. You whack for that. You a whack hater. That's what you are. You a whack hater. And if you want people, if you wake up every day and you going in people's comment sections, all you looking for is some negativity for you to say some hating shit or you a whack hater. And nobody ain't tell you. Keep doing it because ain't nobody telling you that. I'm telling you. I'm telling all y'all haters. Y'all some whack haters. All y'all that's in the, on the shade room under their comment session, commenting, saying hating shit. Everybody that's on all these um, media sites, all these media um, pages, and y'all all in the comment section hating. Y'all some whack haters. And no, ain't nobody telling y'all. That's the problem. Ain't nobody telling y'all y'all hating. Y'all homeboys and y'all homegirls and y'all families ain't telling y'all you a hater. I don't want to hang with you. People need to stop. They need to cut y'all off. They need to stop hanging with y'all. Stop calling y'all phones. Stop dealing with y'all. Let y'all be alone. Let y'all deal with yourself. That's what y'all need. Because y'all some whack haters. You know, and it's about spreading light and love. And y'all getting in the way of us spreading light and love and raising our kids the right way. Y'all influencing our kids and the, the generation that's under us with all the hating shit. They thinking the hating is cool. That's why they out here hating too. This goes for rappers, entertainers, ball players, whoever. If you out here spreading a message of hating, if you out here projecting negative energy, you a whack hater. You need to be shut down. Commentators, all y'all. Money don't mean nothing. Because you got money and you got jewelry and clothes and houses and girls, that don't mean nothing. You got bad energy on you, you carrying bad energy, you whack. With a billion dollars, you still whack. It's about coming together and showing love. Period. 